Okay, so here's a video on the voxelizer button, which is right here, voxelizer. And voxels are, uh, you can think of them as 3D pixels, okay? And so um, what this function does is it takes an object and it puts a small cube inside the object and there's a tolerance where as it stacks up the cubes it figures out which cube falls inside the volume of the part and which part of the cube falls outside it and as it does that it uh, drops off the cubes that don't fit enough into the volume of the object and then what it can do is it can take all those stacked up cubes okay and combine them to make a solid and it'll do it between objects that intersect like so and all these different parts these happen to be unioned but everything else is separate okay each one is is separate and I think yeah these these intersect let's hide this but an object can even be open and it's most of the time okay I won't say all the time that would be misleading okay so here's the object that I'm gonna make a uh, solid out of Okay, so the first step is to select all the items that you want to be turned into a solid and then simply click the voxelizer. And let's go over the first three uh, options because depending on if smooth output is true or false, here it's not doing any smoothing, okay? Then we have more things to talk about, but let's leave that to false. I have this on a thousand that's really high um, let's do 200 okay um, I believe the the command defaults if you've never clicked on it or when you restart the program I believe it defaults to 500 and that's a good number but we'll take a look so I'm gonna leave it on 200 and I'm gonna hit go and you can see that it tells you what it's doing and uh, I'm going to select that layer and move it out here. And the, the best way to see what these look like is to use the plastic shader. Um, you know, if you use uh, just the typical shader, it's harder to see the surface. So here you can see that this is uh, far from impressive. Uh, 200 is really low. I just wanted to show how long you know 200 doesn't take long but uh, for an object this detailed it is uh, way too coarse and we're losing detail and it looks like um, it had an accident um, so anyway there's there's 200 okay let's jump right into um, let's click this again uh, the middle option is delete input so that's false I don't want it to delete the ring you could have it do that especially if you know exactly what you know setting you want and you don't need this object that's saved somewhere um, then you can say delete input I don't do that much uh, let's jump this up to 500 okay and hit go And you can see that's taken a bit longer. Not too bad, though. Um, and in case you're wondering, uh, my processor is a, this is all processor based. Uh, I have an i5, uh, a good one, decent one. So it's nothing crazy. Um, now we're looking at uh, a better solution. There's a little bit of chatter here where it's real subtle the uh, where they blend in it's a good chance this wouldn't show up in a 3d print but we can make that better anyway 
Um, I will say that voxel output, the bigger the number that you um, that you use, um, the denser the mesh is. You can see this is a this is a dense mesh. It's not uh, it's not crazy, you know. Like if I pick it up and move it, it's 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 okay. You could send this to a printer and be okay, but um, there is a little bit of chatter here. You can see where it had to decide, does the box, the cube stay, or does it go? There's all of a sudden a Clash song in my head. Um, so let's go jump this up. Click here. I would maybe consider a ring that is this detailed going up to 600 okay now let's hit enter and let it do its thing the thing is though the difference between 5 and 600 here isn't gonna be real radical so mm, it's it's debatable whether or not um, it's worth it to jump that extra hundred Um, but it is smoother, so it is better, and it's, it's, again, it's, it's dense, meaning it, I don't mean it's not smart, I mean it's dense. Um, so anyway, uh, one thing you can do, though, is now let's turn on, um, let's turn on smoothing. So we'll select all this, we'll leave it at 600. We'll turn on smoothing, and I don't mess around with smooth um, smooth output is now true. Smooth edge length, um, we can play with that, but smooth passes, you can do this one of two ways. You can do like three or four passes, okay, with a smooth strength of one, or you can do more passes with a smooth strength that's real weak, so it just kind of smooths a little, a little, a little, a little, instead of smacking it, you know? So let's let's compare that. Let's go four passes with a smooth strength of, of one. I don't have any good jokes, so we're just going to watch it. Could hit pause but I think it's good sometimes in the video to see how long this stuff takes and uh, there it's done so no big deal next time I'll I'll bring a joke okay so now it's smoother <laughs> go figure right um, one thing that this is really good for is um, this part you know pretty much looks cast and polished for so for rendering this is is pretty handy too um, and so that's that's a pretty nice smooth part so that uh, that was as a matter of fact let's hang on to that one so we can compare uh, do, 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 uh, voxel okay so now let's do uh, like 12 passes, but the smooth strength at point two. Let's try that. I actually don't even, I didn't try this one yet. So let's see what it does. Okay, and then here it goes doing its business. Now it's doing the smooth pass. It already did the cube stacking actually there's a there's a term called marching cubes where um, you stack cubes uh, inside a using voxels um, okay let's go here and here okay and um, 
So that was just a little smoothing, only 12 times. And then let's look. I'm kind of looking. I'm kind of looking right here to see how this acts. Okay. And then we'll come over here. I. Psh, it looks very similar. So that's kind of interesting. Um, not a huge difference. I don't think there was a big time savings either way either. So I think let's take a look at these prongs here and here. Maybe this is a little more rounded over. No, that one's that one's rounded off. I feel like I'm looking at teeth all of a sudden. Okay, so not a huge difference to me. So I think either one of those methods is fine. Now, another way that you, so that, honestly, that that's about it. How much you want to smooth it versus how many, how dense you want this to be and so on. Uh, but let's do it uh, this way. Let's go smooth output false. And let's say, you know, I want this thing to be very much the same as it is now. Well, you can crank this up to, oh, let's not do that. You can crank it up to a thousand. Okay. And smooth output. Okay. Now this is going to take a minute. So maybe if you want to get up, stretch your legs, get something to drink. I just got something to drink. I hope that didn't come too much through the mic. Um, so it's generating a and the fan on my CPU is kind of going, going a bit mad there. And all right, so here we go. Oh, and by the way, so you can tell that the, uh, the, yeah, now this mesh is like, you can, you can tell, uh, like when I go to move it and let up, that's taken a minute to redraw. It's like, Ooh, this is heavy and mm, rotating isn't a big deal because I'm on plastic shading. But when I click on the mesh, it's like, holy cow, it looks opaque. It's just super, super dense. Okay, so I don't recommend using that or sending it to a service bureau. They'd be like, uh, keep your files to yourself. But it's it's a really good representation. Like this, uh, this does not fall within most any printer's uh, resolution for that to be a problem. But what we can do is because this is so dense, we can um, do the reduce mesh command to Rhino command, reduce mesh. And I'm going to smack. Okay. So uh, if we do zero here, you can see there's 4 million faces. The polygon count is 4 million. So we can reduce this. I messed around with this before the video. We can go down to around 500 to 600 uh, faces. So we're reducing this mesh by 85%. Okay, so that's going to take just a moment. But honestly, if the if the the object is you know the ring is done or whatever it is, the jewelry's done, um, you can do this method where you uh, run it with a high setting in the voxelizer to keep it honest, quote unquote, and then run mesh reducer. And um, this this does take a minute to reduce it this much. I mean, we're really getting rid of some triangles, but we'll let it do its thing. As a matter of fact, um, it's 50%. I'm going to hit pause here for a moment instead of rambling. All right, so it's only been about, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. So, you know, I think I think less than a minute and a half. Um, so now if we select this, you can see that flat faces have much bigger triangles. Where it's uh, more rounded, it leaves the triangles. So honestly, I don't I don't see any difference to um, to this at all 
except for we reduce the mesh count by a bunch, by 85%. So um, no problem there. We can shade it this way too, and that'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So that's a good way to go too. Um, and so uh, the other last thing you can do if you're like, well, man, I wish I would have had some smoothing too. You can always just smooth this. Uh, transform and here's smoothing right here and let's see number of smooth steps is five but I'm um, uh, yeah and the smooth factor step is one so let's hit OK and there it did it so there's some smoothing and then again I like to, uh, that was too much. I like to do just a little bit uh, at a time. But honestly, all things considered, I would not worry about it. I wouldn't smooth that. I don't, I don't, I didn't like it. Didn't like it here either. So uh, there you go. There's the voxelizer. Um, all things considered, what I would do on this one is maybe split the difference. If we go voxelizer, cube size 550, okay? And then we can turn some smoothing on. The strength is going to be 0.2, but the passes maybe we'll do 4, okay? So we'll smooth it just a little bit. 550 is respectable speed wise um, there it goes and um, then it's going to smooth it right here and you can see that that setting it's pretty fast and there the part is done and then if we right click that and move it on out over here um, that is a good part and should print no trouble. Um, and it's pretty nice. Now, you could reduce this too. Um, maybe uh, let's just do that real quick and I think this video will be over. Let's do reduce mesh and let's just reduce this one by I like to set it to zero to see what it is. Yeah, see that one's only 1200 instead of 4000 that was uh, um, and we'll go to the same, maybe we'll reduce this by 50% and get down to that setting. And um, with that many um, polygons, this goes a lot quicker. And so, do, 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 do. and uh, there you go. Your choice, how, how you know, what kind of steps you want to take to do this. So that is the voxelizer. Okay, thanks.